By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are looking at a revised only finals. And this was played at the uh, Hill Giant Cup. It was a side event called Rose, standing for revised only side event, meaning that the eight players that participated in this side event had to build 60 card decks with 15 card sideboard uh, with only revised cards. So no preprints, no alpha, beta, unlimited, um, and also no reprint, so no fourth edition and so on. So all the cards need to be revised and we use the regular ban and restricted list. So only one balance, only one wheel of fortune, only one brain geyser and so forth. And here we have Lorenzo on the left. He's from Italy and he's playing a mono blue stasis deck. And we have Joop from the Netherlands and he's playing with a mono white deck with I believe a play set of Yes, veteran bodyguards. So hopefully we'll see some uh, veteran bodyguards on the field and maybe even some castles to boot. I don't know if he plays castles, but that would be extra fun. It would take me back. Um, and we see a first turn mulligan there from the white player taking the scry or Yupa, I should say. And there is a first turn ivory tower from Lorenzo. So that's perfect for him actually. And he's gaining some life here going to 22. Not much happening yet. Moving on to 24. Just gaining some life here, playing some lands, <laughs> and that's about it. So no Savannah Lions, uh, no Mesa Pegasus. So it's not your traditional white weenie deck, which you maybe would expect uh, playing a revised only tournament. But instead it's a, um, it's more of a mid-range white build with I believe Sarah Angels and I don't know, probably I don't think Wall of Swords I don't think so and there's a Sarah Angel there she is just talking about her tapping five putting the four four classic flyer on the field the first creature with vigilance and of course uh, that's dif difficult oh and there's a control magic from Lorenzo taking over the Sarah Angel and now it's hoping that Yoop doesn't have a disenchant Mm, there is the disenchant and Lorenzo doesn't have enough mana open to counter so no counter spell it's not an option I mean he is on 28 life so he can he can take a hit here there's a wall of water there's the first attack bring him to 24 and there's a disrupting scepter and there is a counter spell there from Lorenzo good move because I mean Yup has enough mana to not just play the scepter but also use it. And with that ivory tower you want to keep the cards in your hand. Another attack there, bring him back to 20 and there is a Armageddon and again a good counter. Because can you imagine with a stasis deck having no islands on the field? That would have been the end of the line here. 20-20 uh, for both now. Passing the turn. And bring him down to 16. And he's playing a veteran bodyguard. Okay, there we go. Signature card. So veteran bodyguard is a 2-5 creature for the ones that don't know. And it takes all the damage dealt to you. So all the uh, dealt to you as a player, that is. So if you get hit for 4 damage, the damage goes to the veteran bodyguard. And now he even has 2 veteran bodyguards on the field. I mean, you never see these guys, so it's quite funny seeing 2. And he's attacking. And this is an interesting play because Lorenzo can pump his wall of water and kill a veteran bodyguard, but then he can no longer counter. And I, I, f I feel like Lorenzo is seeing that. He's, he knows it's kind of a lure from the white player here. And exactly, it is exactly that because now he can counter that second Sarah Angel. Because with two Sarahs on the field, I mean, it would have been the end of the line here. I mean, it's still difficult because he has no answer yet for that Sarah Angel. There's a stasis, so at least that can slow things down. Not ideal, because you still have that Sarah Angel that doesn't tap. And he's on five, and there's a wall of air. Well done. So he's on five, but he can now block the Sarah. Let's hope he gets a lot of islands. White is such a strong color with four swords and four disenchants. 
There's another attack, another block. And he needs another island. He doesn't get it. He's not playing the island, so next turn this, he cannot pay these stasis upkeep. And there's a Swords to Plowsiers. Oh my, so that means he goes down to five and he gets a swear, goes to six, gets a swing, and goes to two. And he must concede. That's game, okay. <laughs> and this was actually the uh, last game of the best of three here in the final. So that means that Mono White and the Veteran Bodyguards have won the Rose Revised Only side event. Congratulations, Yup. For getting the victory in and um, let me know if you enjoy these revised matches and I'll see if I can get some more of these online for you. For now, thank you for watching the Timmy channel, the channel where we talk old school magic. And see you next time. <laughs>